All right, so here we have the Roman tub as it exists in all of its ugliness. And the plan is remove this subway tile and this ugly crap down here and put in the new and improved sexy mosaic stuff you see there and then we're gonna scuff up and paint oil rub bronze the fixture the drain la -dee da so that's just to document where we started hey everybody this is supposed to be my intro video on the bathroom project we moved in this house about three years ago uh, it's 2018 now so it was basically june of 2015 my wife never really slept well in the master and suspected maybe the bathroom was the culprit uh, they had butt ugly white subway tile and um, it was what four by four and then they had bull nose on the ends so we got to a point this year actually when I started tearing it apart and of course <laughs> builders grade uh, they used plywood they used drywall uh, the caulking was all cracked around the tub, and so when I unearthed it, I got to spray everything with tea tree oil, scrub, let it completely dry, and then I had to go back and seal it with oil-based sealer twice, which leads us to this. You can see. So, all the way down... I cut out the affected parts of the drywall uh, and I had to tear out all of this and replace it. It was uh, pretty much the same as these cabinets here, only they had four doors that didn't line up with anything. So when I redid it, I lined it up so that you would have access to the uh, water shut off. Theirs, for example, was like part of this and then part of this. So you had to take this one off, and then you had to take this one off. Well, this goes nowhere, so that is now not removable. And I've got these little straps to come over so that when I get the thing finished, you'll just pull that out. This one is removable and this one down here is removable because the motor sits about in there. So I've got, uh, I ordered my stuff which this is uh, LG High Max. The color is Venus. It's from their Volcanics collection. I got my first piece today and I'm getting ready to uh, silicone that sucker down and then measure and cut my remaining pieces. There'll be one that goes to approximately here, and then the same thing down on this side. You can see my kind of sort of measurements there. And then the last one will be that lays on here and overlaps this by maybe a quarter inch or so. But I can't proceed too far until I get that one in. So that's what's getting ready to happen today. And... Uh, I'm building as much, sorry, I'm building as much as I can in the garage because the epoxy smells, but eventually I'm going to have to seam the top, the pretty ones, in here, which I'll just open up the window and put a towel under there and put a fan that I have blowing out so that it'll suck as much as it can. It only takes 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, I've been doing it in the garage at 50 degrees, and it's still done in an hour. I think 45 minutes is possible at 70 or above. Uh, and I know that most people, when they do this, they would probably remove the tub, take measurements, can create the whole thing, and then bring it, set it in, and put the tub back in place. Uh, one man show, that's not going to happen. So I'll build as much as I can, like I said, outdoors. And then the rest of it, I'm going to have to do, especially these, because they slip under the tub here. Which is why solid surface is perfect, because it's half inch. And that's what they had in there. So 
If you want to watch, come along. You're more than welcome to. Uh, I accept constructive criticism. I already told you I'm not a pro. I'm doing it on my own. And I would recommend ordering from SolidSurface.com, but be careful. Um, this is such a little job. I got away with having it sent UPS. I got one package just fine. Happily, that's the one that will be on top and everybody will see. This stuff that's going in first was all broken. Broken in five separate pieces. So I had to put those pieces back to make one piece and then seam them together to get my 73 inch span here to go studs to studs. Not nagging on solid surface. They did me right. But anything above, say, 50 pounds coming UPS, you might want to think again. Or you can pay, you know, like $180 to $200 or more in freight to have one big whole piece and just cross your fingers. So keep that in mind. See ya for the next one. Okay, second video. Don't get excited. The only one that's actually, I might as well just color all in the tub. The only one that's actually silicone to the place is this back one. These other two are laying in loose for test fitment. This is a little off, but hey, that's them, not me. So I gotta seal that. I gotta seam that one, which, depending on how I do this, yeah, you can see it. So, phase two will be cutting three and seven eighths inch to fill this to here. And again, whoa, down there, the same thing. Leaving me to fill this gap, which I'm gonna do about, this is easier if you got free hand. I'm gonna do probably six, six and a half, and then if it ends up having a little eighth of an inch wiggle room there, then that will tuck under and make my finished edge out here. So, I think she chose a pretty good color. I mean, it looks good to me. White's far from ideal. I got the window and the other one open. What's this do? How's that? Get a better better view so yeah now it gets a little bit more complicated hang in there thanks for stopping by greetings update you see the shower bar serving as a prop in place of the clamps and I got 20 pound weights this side I got pretty much all the dumbbells that I had because it's at an angle and then I did the same thing with a shower curtain and I screwed this little block in there to hold it in place so I could make use of the door. There's the actual front piece which will go here. But I'm probably going to have to notch that side. So Another step closer. Once all this is in and seemed tight then it's a matter of putting the pretty layer on that everybody's going to see and I probably will take that caulking gun and run a bead all the way around the tub except for this and I'll wait till I get that piece in then I'll do the front progress is continuing though okay people big update uh, sunny and pretty nice today so I got a little ambitious went ahead and measured like three times and cut five times I kept shaving a little bit, blade width by blade width off, until I got that back piece in, and it fits like a glove. The front piece, although from here it probably looks okay, I had to take a little bit more off there, and you see as you come down that it gets further and further away. Till you get to this disaster area down here, so I may have to make an adjustment on this back one and pull it into this, or cut some thin strips to fill in there. The other fun project I did, you may not be able to tell, is there's a little corner piece. With each one of these, oh my gosh, I had to do, so you can hardly even see that one, there it is. I had to do a little at a time by hand. I don't know that it's going to 
that is added in to fill the corner space so there wouldn't be a big old glob. This one, strangely enough, dropped right in. Of course, it's bigger. So, everything is now dry fit and in place. Um, I don't have to do any more measuring or any more cutting. Now it's a matter of cleaning and sticking these things down using weights, using clamps, and then sanding all of the seams. One of which I can tell from here, yeah, it's too far away in the camera, is this front seam. Of course, all the highly visible areas. So, there's where I'm at, and we'll add this to the list of things. Toodles! Alright, you guys ready for this? Here's the latest development in the tub project. Clearly, none of the walls are in. See all those weights? They're there for a reason. There is seam and corner. And there is a little bit better of a seam and a corner. Here's the front. That's really gonna have to be saying this is that barcodes and stuff on there. I'm probably making you poor people sick. And I don't know that it's focusing all that great. But all that's gonna be sanded. My wife is talking in the background. There's another corner and seam and the final. One is there. I got a big old glob of goop there that I didn't get. Uh, can I get underneath? Kind of. And so I got it wedged in place with these little chunks here. Interesting enough, I actually had to put a sliver to fill this gap and it's like it, it was perfect. It's hard to even tell. I'll have to sand this little rough part there. So really where I'm at is it's ready to sand even now. I'm going to let it cure a little bit more. The smell's not so bad. I've picked at it. It really didn't smell at all when I had the windows open. Uh, and it's supposed to be 50 degrees today. I've got to figure out how to attach uh, suction and I think I might have to either get a small shop vac or something like that or get a new filter for mine. It's a big 12 gallon and it's really not all that practical. So, I've already got the discs. I'm just waiting for the rest of the equipment. But it looks better. Once it's sanded it should look great. Okay, well, ladies and gents, this is the next stage on the tub project. Probably looks about the same to you. However, I got a little bit ambitious today, and I sanded. There's supposed to be a seam there. But you can't really see it, which is kind of the objective. Down here, sadly, if you look really close, you might be able to see little white lines. Well, you will not focus at all. But, see how my triangle pieces? There you go. A little bit right in there. So those are the most visible areas. This is, of course, at the back, and my big body is in the shadow. Once I put the cement board and such, you won't be able to see that. The rest of this is pretty, pretty good. I also put the caulking around, it's still wet. And same over here, you can see it looks like maybe like a little bit of a, a dip. Again, that will be covered up. And you see this little, little white line right there. Where I must have not had it tight enough. Then the rest of my struggle is doing this front edge. See how it doesn't line up there. And there's some visible stuff. It's because it's not completely flush. So there's a little bit of a, 
a ledge there, and in that ledge is where the stuff oozed out. Now here it's pretty good. There, and most of the way down here. You can see it's a little bit off. See that right there in the corner? So that's just more sanding. We'll come back and do that later. We're really getting close now. Well, hello there, my friends, family, strangers. A little update for you. Steady as she goes, Captain. So I have the next two pieces. Thank you so much for focusing. That one, which is pretty much dead on lengthwise. The width, obviously, I've left for some adjustment. The plan is epoxy that one in place, getting it lined up here at the front, and then measure and cut, if you can see, from here down to this one, because I've got a little bit of play. Right now it's looking like about 60 inches. The one in the back, underneath the curtain, although you might be able to see it if you see the difference in height there, is slightly less, maybe an eighth, maybe even only a sixteenth. So what I'll do is I'll cut 60 inches first, and then maybe finally trim it, because I'm going to be doing that on the miter saw, so I can make really accurate cuts as long as it's about a blade width or so. It's coming along. Looking better all the time. Ugly seams are already hidden. Now to make the seams on this look pretty. Crossing fingers and praying like nobody's business. Alright everybody. Now look at what we got going on. No, those aren't actually up. The cement board is all primed. It's all in place. The caulking is fresh, it smells horrible in here, but we're ready for tile and you can see the kind of sort of layout there. The tricky part is going to be going around the window. Happily everything else will be one whole square of tile and then a row of, see up there in the window, a row of four. I just need the tile saw for around the window ledge and I want to kind of do that first then everything else I should be able to just bang out if I've got enough mastic in order to stick this stuff on so I guess we could give you a little bit of a preview but I don't want to get this stuff stuck to my fresh caulking so pardon me while I Kind of sort of arrange you get the drift and then another row of four to cover up the ugliness solid surfaces in I've sanded it I've buffed to a matte finish very little shine because there's going to be water and water spots, so it doesn't need to be super duper shiny. But finally, this stuff sets up. We're very close to being done. And of course, after all that, there's grouting and then water sealing. But really, all the water sealing at the tub level, it's like four and a half inches. Except for that one, ironically. And that one. I've got four and a half inches all along the bottom. Caulked, sealed, primed. So, ain't no water getting down to the frame of this ever again. Unless somebody tears it out, of course. So, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Alright, here we are in the bathroom yet again. Serious, serious process. Uh, so this wall is all up and done. That was finished today. The tricky around the window stuff. This side was done today because I started 
in this corner and worked out both ways. Leaving me with this wall, which should be easier because there's going to be approximately the same. So it'll be four whole pieces of tile and then these little sections of four tiles to finish out the top. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same here. So when I get that last whole piece of tile in, I'll have to measure and adjust pretty much on the fly. So that stuff there has a little bit of working time associated with it. And we'll be back probably when that is in, letting everything set good for at least two days before I even begin to think about putting the grout in. And then after that, the sealing of the grout and then finishing by putting in the color matched caulking. But, I mean, right now you could take a bath in it. It's just ugly on this one end and it's least likely to get water probably at that end anyway from splashing. So, yay raw, skippy doo. All right, people, at long last, the day has arrived. All of the tile is installed. All of the joints are grouted. All the solid surface is in. The bathtub and therefore the bathroom look like a bathroom again. These we still have to order and replace with oil rubbed bronze. And there is of course the first piece that I ever did. I don't know that I can back out much further than that. And if you were to look at it up close, it looks like but especially my detail around the window and underneath is pretty pretty shaky. You can see it's not exactly smooth or straight. I'm of course in the light. But, the only other thing I've got left is to uh, see if I can focus that. Seal it so that it's splash proof. And then caulk and then I'm done. Yay, Skippy Raw.